happened. Um, I wrote a book, I've got a few copies up here. Uh, it's called um, The Music of Your Heart. And by the way, I am a singer. I, uh, I love uh, hearing that we have a singer in the room. I have a CD in the front of the book with uh, an original song that I sang called Listen to Your Heart. And um, so I've incorporated all of this into my business as well. Uh, but there are just a few tips that I want to share from my book that I think are applicable to what we're talking about today. First of all, um, if you want to be more successful, be networking with people who are stretching you a bit. If you're, doing, if you're with people who are doing what you're already doing, you're not stretching yourself. And so you want to stretch yourself. Spend some of your time with people that you aspire to be like. That's going to help you to grow and is so important. And so um, also collect and record contact information everywhere you go. It's important for you to collect that because how can you send a birthday card or something like that if you don't have that information? And by the way, many people's business cards today do not have their mailing address on it. So sometimes you have to ask for that. And um, I love this, the size of your network determines the size of your net worth. Who we know is so important. And not just that we know them, but that we cherish those relationships and we're building those relationships. So there's value there, whether they do business with us or not. So this is something that I created. It's a blank business card. I carry these with me everywhere I go. I've got them in my purse right now. And um, no matter where I go, I have a blank business card because I'll ask people, Hey, can I get your contact information? By the way, put your birthday down. Don't need the year, but put your birthday down because I like to send birthday cards. And they may not have anything to write with. I always carry a pen. And they may not have anything to write on. I always have this with me. So, And then before we part, I like to look at this and make sure that I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this sign that I found on the internet. Evaluate the people in your life, then promote, demote, or terminate. You are the CEO of your life. And that is so important. Uh, there may be people in your life who are toxic, who are not supporting you and you're moving ahead. Now, there are times when we're serving others that we choose to be with toxic people because we're showing up in service to them. And so we have to be careful about that, too, that we're not just putting ourselves in a bubble and saying we're not going to be around any of those toxic people. Um, but in terms of networking, when you're networking, you want to be very careful who you let into your life because the people you spend the most time with have a tremendous impact on your life and the way you think. And the way you think affects everything. 